Hi everyone, my name is Anya and welcome to my virtual fashion lab. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how from a simple sweatshirt, we can do a realistic, uh, very detailed puffer jacket. Uh, first, we're going to start with the simple uh, sweatshirt that I have created before and I always switch everything to the low res garment because it creates a um, much more optimized uh, garment that I can adjust further. So the particle distance is uh, normal, the uh, sim simulation is normal and the garment is ready to, get, to be adjusted, to sew in, to simulate it and it will be much easier on your computer. For my front, it had um, uh, symmetry, so I turned it off because I need to have it opened. Um, I usually do just cut and sew, and only later on I add the zipper once all my shape is correct, because I'm going to be doing a lot of adjustments here. I like to adjust my patterns in both 3D and 2D window. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of eyeball it in 3D window. Uh, the nice part about it is when I pull one point and adjust all the three patterns at the same time. So I don't need to, you know, manually keep going and seeing what's going to happen. And when I'm happy with what's happening in the 3D window, I go into the 2D window and I fine tuning um, to make it a little bit more accurate. And then the um, uh, to adjust the curves, make sure that my points are not creating the V and that my 90 degrees are mostly appropriate. I want to drop my um, armhole a little bit lower, so I'm just gonna do manually in the 2D window by eyeballing. You can also use precision box by right clicking and it will give you a pop-up window where you can exactly enter the amount um, of point of inches or centimeters what you're working in um, at uh, how much you want to uh, add or um, subtract. When you're adjusting the patterns, make sure that you don't have a small sewing issues that from a far away you cannot see. Make sure that you're inspecting your patterns before simulating to avoid the collision. It's a good idea to change your garment, your avatar in the A pose. Um, you can see what's going on in the armhole area and then to catch any mistakes um, much easier and avoid the collision of the pattern pieces.
I'm gonna change the length of my garment in the 2D window by uh, pulling the line and then right clicking in the same moment to get to the precision box and to enter exact number how much I want it to get shorter. I like how my jacket start changing the shape. It's a little cropped, it's a little bit oversized, very cute. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to try and see if the rib will be behaving more accurately and better when you change the property to elastic uh, of the knitted fabric. You can also alter how rigid it is or how much the recovery is by playing with the values. In this case, I decided to keep it as regular preset. My jacket is going to be from the lightweight nylon, so it's a good time right now to change the fabric um, to the exact one that I'm going to be using. I like all my patterns to be symmetrical um, if they are because then it's much easier to do any adjustment. I'm saving so much time for myself and it's so much easier because I'm doing the update only on one side and it's um, right away con um, repeating the same on the other side. If you have similar pattern, same pattern left and right, there is no reason to not have it symmetrical. You just create more work for yourself. I'm gonna create internal lines for my channels for my puffer jacket. Um, it's time to start turning into something uh, that is closer to the final end product. So I'm gonna create the two internal lines um, and then I'm gonna offset them and create kind of like channels. This will be my internal elastic for the channel. Um, I find it much more control and the sewing looks nicer rather than just adding elastic value to the lines. Um, it just creates kind of like more realistic um, effect of crunching of the fabric around the elastic channels. I like to use the shortcut for the superimpose under or superimpose over. It's control and then that shape that I never know how it's in English and I probably would not know how to pronounce it, but I typed it for you guys on the, on the lower bottom of the screen.
I'm going to create the internal shape for my chest pocket. It's so nice to see changing the position at the same time in the 3D window. So you really uh, get the benefit of 3D. You really know where your um, pattern pieces are around the garment. I'm going to turn off my internal lines not to distract my view because now I have the um, pocket weld situated exactly where I need it to be. I'm gonna align my uh, pocket flap of the lower pocket uh, with the straight line that I already have created. If you don't, if you don't know exactly your line that is um, nicely straight on X and Y, you can always create the square and use it as a reference. And after that, make sure that your grain line is straight because when you create the patterns on the angle and then you simulate later, not only the simulation might not be the most accurate, but also the placement of the print and texture will be um, turned it in a really wrong angle. Um, and we don't want that. We want our garment look pretty. Okay, I kind of got my overall shape down. I'm gonna bring the hands uh, in the regular position. Look at this jacket, it's so cute. It's a great base to start with the next step. Bye, check out the next video.